Hey guys, I'm here talking about the Devils. Uh, their first game went okay. I thought they were good enough for the first game of the regular season. Uh, they won 4-2. I'm sorry, they won 4-3. Uh, the first goal was scored by Detroit uh, in the second period by... Daniel Sprong. Uh, it was just a mess in front of the goal. Uh, you know, Brett tried to clear it, deflected right off the guy from Detroit into the net. Nothing you can do there. Uh, then Devils get a power play. Jack Hughes, no surprise there, gets the goal. Uh, assists from Andre Pilat. It's a power play. Then about five minutes later, you have Jack Hughes doing it again. Assist by Toffoli and Siegenheimer. Unfortunately, in the third, the Brinkin would get one back. He got a power play goal. Uh... Then about five minutes later, Dougie Hamilton got a goal, and then Hala got a empty netter. Uh, there would be a power play late in the game for Detroit, and they would score, making it 4-3. That was your final score. I thought the Devils were good. Uh, could they have done better? Yeah. Um I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of happy that they only won by one goal because someone at my job who was a Rangers fan put money on the doubles to win by at least two goals. And they didn't. So I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, you know, screwing a Rangers fan out of money, that's not a bad thing whatsoever. Uh, moving on to... Game two. Game number two was Friday the 13th. Um, actually, you know what? Let me go back to the first game for a second. Uh, in the game against Detroit, we had 27 shots on goal. We had 32 hits. We only won 25 face-offs. They got more face-offs than us. Uh, they had more shots on goal than us. They had 35. Uh, and we only went one for six on the power play. We have to do better than that. So the game of Arizona, we lost that in overtime, four to three. Um, you know, we gave up a goal on the first to Arizona. And then early in the second, we went down 2 nothing, And I just thought, you know, this isn't a big deal because all last season was like the worst thing you could do was go up two goals on the Devils. And sure enough, we made them pay because... Three goals by the Devils in the second period, just for Brett, Dougie Hamilton, and then just for Brett a second time. Uh, ironically enough, Hamilton and Brett had something to do with all three goals because Brett scored two of them, Dougie scored the other one. And on the Hamilton goal, Brett had an assist on the first Pratt goal, Hamilton had an assist. Uh, of course, all three goals, the primary assist went to Jack Hughes. There's no surprise. Uh, and then in the third period, we gave up a goal, and it went to overtime. Nothing happened. We went to a shootout, and... They beat us 2 nothing in the shootout. Uh, the 
the power play was two for five. Again, we have to do better. Arizona went two for seven on their power play. We have to stay out of the box. We can't give up that many power plays. Um, We had a close game last year against the Penguins, and the reason why it was so close was because they ended up having like eight or nine power plays. Uh, Shots on goal was 36 to 33 us. Hits was 21-20 them. Face-offs were close. It was 32 them, 29 us. But there were also some power, some penalties in that game where I thought the refs were screwing with us a bit. And they could have just swallowed their whistles and let them play. But trust me, we're going to get onto that in the next game. Because... The next game was a 4-3 loss in regulation to Florida. Now, uh, first of all, uh, shots were 34-30 us. Hits were 32-25 us. Face-offs, 32-30 them. Uh, They went one for four, and we went two for five on the power play. Once again, we have to do better than that. If we're getting five power plays per game, we have to score on more than just two of them. But Sam Reinhardt and Carter Vahegi scored in the first period. Once again, 2 nothing. So I'm not that concerned because of how often we fought back from that. But then it was 3 nothing because of another goal, uh, a goal from Nico McCullough. And I thought, okay, it's the worst lead in hockey. It's a free goal game. But then Reinhardt got another game, and I was like, uh, we're not going to win this. But then Howell got a power play goal early on in the third. About five minutes later, the cloud got one. And then Brat got a power play goal uh, with about... Two minutes and change left. Uh, Hughes had another assist. He had it, an assist on the hollow goal. That's not all that surprising. Jack Hughes can pretty much be a unicorn in the sport of hockey. He's just too damn good to control. They were penalizing Timo Meyer with God knows how many tripping calls. Yeah, one, two. There were three tripping. There were like two or three tripping calls on Timo Meyer that should not have been called and was just BS. And then later on, you have one of the most blatant trips I have ever seen done by Florida on Dawson Mercer. And the referee doesn't call a damn thing. And I'm just like, oh, so we're not even going to pretend that we're trying to screw the devils. I see how it is. I see how it is. So not a good start for the first three games. You know, I really thought that we would have won at least the second game because we went into overtime. In overtime, the Devils have had so many cute little tricks and have scored so many different ways. Um, But, yeah, a bit of a rough start with the first three games for the Devils. Uh, But it's only the first few games. I'm nowhere near panicking whatsoever. I think they're going to come back in the next game against. Oh, it's against the Islanders. Okay. Um, the only real issue that we could have in that game would be 
Sorokin, the goaltender, standing on his head and having a really good game. But the rest of the Islander team, I'm not all that concerned of. I mean, like a third of the roster are all former Devils who, no disrespect to some of those names, should have retired a couple seasons ago. So that's all I've got on my mind for the first three games for the Devils. Like I said, bit of a rough start to the season. I think they'll get better as time goes on, especially with Jack Hughes just going out of his mind. Um, in in the Detroit game, I was joking about how someone did something to piss Hughes off because he just came right back out in the second period and scored two goals. Um, Arizona made the biggest mistake I have seen a team do for a little while against Jack Hughes, and I just thought, you know how good he is. How can you make this mistake? Because the, the only reason this wasn't a goal was because of the Coyotes' goaltender. There's The Devils had a five-on-three, which they scored on. So it goes back to a regular power play. Uh, there's seven seconds left in the power play, ten seconds left in the period. Hughes is in his own end. He takes the puck from the goaltender who I believe was Akira Smead. Uh, yeah, second game of a back-to-back, we were using Smead against Arizona. He gives the puck to Hughes. Hughes goes all the way down the length of the ice and gets a shot on goal. Now, it's not the fact that he gets a shot on goal that Arizona made the mistake. It's the fact that when he Gets into Arizona's zone. He goes right through three Arizona Coyote players who don't do anything to try to stop him. And I'm watching this. I'm just like, what are you doing? You can't. I'm one of the biggest Devils fans you'll ever find. And even I admit that the other team cannot allow Jack Hughes to do that because he's either going to score or someone else is going to get the rebound and put it in. And Arizona is lucky that neither one of those scenarios did not happen. Otherwise, the Devils win this game for free in regulation. And it's just ridiculous. But they're playing the Islanders on... Friday, I think it is. Yes, they're playing the Islanders on Friday the 20th. And I'll be honest, I would not be surprised if the Islanders made the same mistake at some point because they're just not that good a team. Anyway, guys. Thanks for tuning into this video. Uh, hit the thumbs up button to like the video if you enjoyed this content and subscribe for more content in the future. See you later.